Erwin Schrodinger was a Nobel Prize winning Austrian physicist who is credited with having developed some of the fundamental theories that we study here in quantum theory. Now, some of you may be familiar with his work, and if you're not, you will be very quickly. As everyone, I am sure, has heard of this experiment, it is one that we must go over nonetheless. Jesus Christ, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Shit, I mean, sorry. Sorry. Then let us continue. The cat. Schrodinger's cat. This is where a cat is placed into a steel chamber along with a device containing a vial of hydrocyanic acid, a radioactive sample, and a Geiger counter. Now, if even one atom of this sample decays, it will register on the Geiger counter, which will trigger the device in the box to break the bottle of poison and thus kill the cat inside the box. Since the box is sealed, we cannot know what is inside the box. Thus, the cat could be dead or alive at any given moment because we have no idea of knowing we must assume the cat is both alive and dead simultaneously. This is a quantum theory called superposition. What Schrodinger was trying to do was to prove Copenhagen's interpretation wrong. We're closing up. Mia? You got the wrong girl. Yeah, of course, I know that. So, Just... what do you want? Mia. Is she here somewhere? No. I can't believe it's another one of you guys. She doesn't work today. But she said she was going to be in today. Do you know where I might find her? No. She's probably at home. But for fuck's sake, when you do find her, will you tell her to stop sending her messes here? His theory suggested that the radioactive material inside the box can have simultaneously decayed and not decayed, just as the cat is both dead and alive simply because we cannot see it. We of course know that this is ridiculous. The cat inside the box isn't alive and dead at the same time because that cannot exist. You said you were at work. I left early today. I had a lot of work to do. I thought I told you that earlier. She said you weren't at work at all today. Who said that? The girl at the place, at the shop where you work. Jesus. You know. You said you were working. And you weren't there. You just weren't there. I came to find you and... But here you are now. Then, well... Here I am. Tom, what are those? Are those for me? Something is either alive. Yes. Or it is dead. Look, Tom, it's just that, well. Whether we have opened the box or not. It's, it's not like that. Not for me. It prevents us from so naively accepting as valid a blurred model for representing reality. So, essentially, the observation itself affects the outcome, so that the outcome does not exist unless the observation is made. The outcome doesn't exist until it is observed. It is neither dead nor is it alive until you open the box 
and find out. And that is the observer's paradox.